Can is there yeah. anything you'd like to uh, just brief, just very briefly, because yeah, we got some yeah, well, more points you want to get. Right, uh, one or two other. points. First of all, you know, I don't know how, uh, I'm not an Arabic professor, mm -hmm. but how you translate this, that uh, all, the, all the pious people in the last 12, 1300 years, their books are there, they have translated the hadith in the same meaning as I have stated. Uh, listen, I have, I have the book, book, book here with me. If you want, you are more familiar than Arabic or this book, I will show it to you. Second thing is, you said that he eventually, every prophet, when Prophet Muhammad came back from Gare Saur, Gare Hera, he put blanket around his and the Khatija was there to tell him he was trembling. So when Allah talks to his prophet, to his pious people, they gradually, they, you know, they are, they sweat, they fear. Uh, how, great how, did, how did Allah, Allah communicate to the Prophet Muhammad uh, uh, Through Jibreel. Uh, uh, how, how, and how did he com communicate to uh, Ghulam Ahmed Mirza uh, uh, You know, he also uh, spoke to him through Jibreel and through his angels as all the wahi and ilham to all the pious people. You know, even... God spoke to uh, Shah Abdul Qadir Jalani, Rahmatullah, humble Ibn Arabi. God revealed to them all these mujaddids, you know, all these waliullahs, Hazrat Ali, Hazrat, uh, so many pious people in the history of Islam. Even before uh, Musi Maud was, I believe, Mr. Ghulam Ahmed was born, Allah has been talking to his people his way. This is called Inam, and Allah's Inam does never stop. Similarly, he revealed to uh, Mirza Ghulam Muhammad of Qadiyan, as you said that he revealed to him gradually, obviously, and as for Brahini and is concerned, if you know the history, as you claim to be, Muhammad Hussain Batalvi, he was a very big scholar in India at that time. He was the head of Ali Hadith, and in his, in his, before he claimed, you see, it's the history of prophets, Everybody claims that Rasulullah Akram Sallallahu was Sadiq, Amin, but when he claimed right. I'm a prophet, people turn against him. Muhammad Hussain Batalvi wrote. Yeah, you have to be very brief very on this briefly. now because I want to move on to the next question. He wrote the one I'm sure he will understand. He said, he said, koi ashiyai mubalga na samjhe. Agar koi hai, and this was his claim all over India. Agar koi hai, to wo bataye ke jis tara Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiyani, he said, Maulvi Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiyani at the time. جس نے اسلام کی اور قرآن کی اور محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی شان میں اسلام کے دشمنوں کا آریہ سماج ہندو اور نسائیوں کا جواب دیا ہے کوئی ہے تو لائے اور اس وقت جو حالات تھے وہی حالات تھے جو حدیثوں میں آئے ہیں کہ اسلام اٹھ جائے گا قرآن صرف پڑھنے کے لیے رہ جائے گا اور مسجدیں بھری ہوں گی یہ حدیث ہے میں آپ کو بتاتا ہوں حوالے دے کے اور اس وقت جو حالات تھے Yeah, you said, uh, you uh, one said something about uh, hin hin Hinduism. Arya Samaj, dekhe na us waqt jab British Raj tha Hindustan mein. You have to sorry, you have to keep it yeah, in English because this. Uh, right, uh, yeah. brother. At that time, there were Christian missionaries right. were spread all over. Mm -hmm. Captain Douglas Doi and taking all the most. They were turning them into Christianity. They were turning them away from Islam. Imam Qadiyan. He was the only and the history. I'm the scholar. If you have news, I right. was the evidence of right. Sir Sayyid Abud Khan and okay. Iqbal so and everybody. There. I'm going to stop you there because I think we're just going a bit way off now. Uh, one, just going back to one more claim now, and we're going to be very, very brief on this. Sure. He claimed in 1904, on the 2nd of November, that he is Krishna. And Krishna is known in Hinduism as one of their deities, yes. as one of the gods. So okay. did, did he claim to be a god of the Hindus? Right. No, I'll tell you. And if you can please, please be very brief. I'll be very brief. We're going to go for a break, inshallah, no. shortly okay. as well. Okay. As Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was Ramatil Alameen, he didn't come only for Arab, as the pre previous prophets came for certain areas. And as we know, that Allah has been sending yeah. prophets in each area. You know, the difference yeah. is Krishna is a god. I know. Yeah? I okay. Krishna in okay. Hindi means uh, uh, their otar. Right. Atar means God. No, because he also followed the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Sorry. his talim is to spread the Islam all over the world. So similarly, it was revealed to Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiyani that he is the Christian Atar. And to for your information, if you don't know, Hindus in Gita are also waiting for the Christian to come back again in all the religions. 
So basically, in the Buddhist, basically yes. he's the Messiah, the awaited Messiah he, of the Hindus. Yeah? He is Christian for the Hindus. He's, so he is the so he's awaited Messiah for the Christ, for the Hindus yes. as well. Thank you. He that's, is that's, Jesus yep. for Christians and okay. Messiah for Muslims. Okay. Thank you. Okay, what we're going to do now, inshallah, we're going to take a short break, brothers and sisters, stay tuned, where we're discussing on the belief of our Ahmadi brethren. Uh, stay tuned, inshallah, we'll see you after the break. As-salamu alaykum. <laughs> 